Oh man, we get to read Beowulf. That's always fun. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mr. Neville. I teach English 7, English literature. Why you should take English literature. If you are interested in history, because English literature has a lot to do with English history, European history, and literature, the class combines those two things. It makes American literature, which all of you have taken already, make more sense. You have to be a senior to take the class. It is an elective. You can take English literature in place of regular English 7. If you're not a big novels reader, we do a lot of poetry. We do Shakespeare. We do not read a lot of novels because they don't exist yet. So I'm Mrs. Connolly, um, and the class you might be interested in taking is an English 5 or an English 7 called Multicultural Lit and Rhetoric. It is an option in the fall for seniors and if there's still space juniors. One of the things we do in Multicultural Lit is we don't read anything by white authors. So if you're interested in taking a look at social justice issues or just, you know, getting a new perspective reading books that are by or about people who look like you or people who don't look like you. Depends on who you are. Um, that's what we do. We do a lot of writing. It is a writing-based class rather than a test-taking kind of class, but there's usually a lot of choice in what you write, and we had a great time this semester in the class, so I hope you're interested in signing up. It is a class mostly for seniors. Juniors can also register for it um, in place of English 5 if there's still space available. And you can also take it as an elective, so if you've got an empty spot, maybe you're taking a different English class, but you really, um, you like to read and you like to write and you want to give that a go, it could always take up that space for you as well. I've had honors kids take it as an elective this semester. Hey, have you ever thought about being on the New York Times bestseller list? Are you a poet and just didn't know it? Well, the English department has a solution for you. We offer English A Creative Writing. I'm Miss Sullivan and I teach that class. And you really need to take the class if you've ever thought about doing something more with your writing. It's very simple. Those that do creative writing think outside the box. Therefore, you can get a job. Take the class. Hi, I'm Mr. Kreider. Uh, I teach English and journalism, and that's why you'd be watching this video. In journalism, you actually learn like professional techniques you might use in the real workplace if you were uh, to be in the world of journalism or video editing or video creation and have actually had students you know go on to graduate and enter those fields in college because of our class. If you like creating videos, if you like photography, if you like writing, this might be a class for you. If you uh, like to work in groups, if you're a team player, then this might be the class for you because flying solo just doesn't really work in journalism. It's uh, it's a really, it's a group effort. There's a lot of people that, that make GrantHighWorld.com work. If you want to take journalism, I believe you have to at least be a sophomore. And then if you want to continue to take those classes, uh, like if you want to move on to video journalism, you have to have at least a prerequisite of taking regular journalism at some point. Journalism is also offered as an honors course your junior year in place of English 5A you may take Journalism A. Sorry, Mr. Neville. It's very fun if you like to always challenge yourself and, and do new stuff and, and work on projects. It's really, a, it's a project-oriented, project-driven class where you get to see what you create and get to see what you make, then you would like this class. That, that's what we do. We make stuff for our community, for our students, for the people at GCHS. If you'd like to be a part of that, come take Journalism. Hi, I'm Mrs. McQuiggan and I teach the public speaking for college credit. It's English 8, so it's an option for you as a senior in your senior year. And why would you want to take this course? Well, it's always good to take a course where you can get college credit at the same time. So you can get high school credit for English 8 and you can get college credit at the same time. Now this is important because college is kind of expensive and they're giving this credit to you for free. So if you have to take English 8, you might as well take the College Credit English 8 class. Also, another thing that you could consider is that this grade will be writing and public speaking. So if you 
are wanting to improve your writing skills and you're wanting to improve your, your public speaking skills, then this is a class for you. You're also able to kind of take a grade that isn't 100% writing because you have the public speaking to kind of give you a, a buffer for both scores. So a lot of people who did good in English 4, your sophomore year, would actually want to take public speaking for college credit because that's a class they're probably going to do well in their senior year also.